Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run on there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like share and go for the team. Coming like sharing, don't for the team. Coming like sharing, don't forget to come in like a share. Coming like a share, coming like a share, don't forget to come in like a share. Coming like a share, coming like a share, don't forget to, don't forget to come in like a share. Okay, you guys, check this out. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and pray. We'll get into the goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? You guys, today. Check this out. We have got pig ears. You guys know that's my favorite. We've also got pig snout. We have some collard mix with mustard greens. We have the turnip meat and the rutabaga. So I got plenty of jalapenos. I've got some cornbread. And I've got my slimy okra. Over here to the side, you know I've got my white onions. I've also got my tomatoes, which you know is always a treat for me. Because this is the only time when I eat them. On top of that, you guys, I got the crushed red peppers over here. I've got us our vinegar for our pork. And Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is going to help us out, y'all, because, baby, we got a lot of food to eat. I got a new bottle of hot sauce, and, baby, it's on fire. So let's see if he's got some refreshing, okay? Mmm. 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 Yes, I am. Okay, you guys. Like I told you a while ago. Over here to the side. I've got my lips hot sauce. And if you like your bottle, make sure you look in the description box. I put it way over the top. It's a brand new bottle today, baby. And I made it extra, extra hot. All right, y'all. That's what we got. Now, let's get to eating. Y'all, this is a lot of food. It's a lot of food. Yes, it is. Mmm. Mmm. Baby. Let me get that white onions over here. Let's get them over here, y'all. Get plenty of them over there. So we ain't got to do that no more. Okay? Now, y'all, I mixed stewed tomatoes with the little diced ones that I normally have for this good old pork over here, y'all. Because, baby, like I said, this video may be a little longer than normal. It just may. Because, y'all, we've been to talk about it. Okay? Let's put up some of our vinegar. Over here in the greens. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna put some on this pork. They have cut so a little bit of it anyway. All right. We got some crushed red peppers over there, but I don't know if I'm gonna need them just yet. Let's get us some of this good cornbread on top of here. And let's get into it, y'all. Y'all, let's get into it. I'm so ready. I haven't had I haven't had cornbread with my greens and stuff in a minute. Because I just get tired of cornbread. Y'all, this stuff is hot. So I'm going to try to give you a bite. But I got to be quick. There's your first bite of the greens. There you go. Y'all. Y'all. I love cornbread with greens. But I kind of have a love-hate relationship with cornbread. I really do. So let me tell y'all this. We had a live yesterday. By the way, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I'm back, and I'm glad to be back. I really am. Most of you guys already know that I had a death in my family, and I didn't take it very well. So yesterday on the live, you guys told me you wanted me to eat chitterlings, pig ears, uh, cornbread and cabbage with okra in it. That's what your request was. 
Well, honey, when I got to looking at my good deep freezer, I ain't got things going on. We ended up with pigs now and pig ears. I'm sorry, Miss Brittany Bailey is who suggested the meal to me. Thank you so much, love. I appreciate you. I really, really do. I get some lips hot sauce on now. And y'all, let's see and let me make it do what it do. Let's make it do what it do. Ooh, Dakaria, this is for you, baby. First bite of the pig ears. There they go, there they go, there they go. Mmm, mm 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 Y'all, I love pig ears. Pig ears is my favorite meat in the world. It really is. And I saw you guys today. This is my friend Carla and David are here. So I'm gonna I gave them the first part of these. But these are jalapenos that were grown in my garden. They're ready. And baby, let me tell you something. They hot too. They hot. They really are. Woo. Mmm. 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 Mm. Y'all, this is good. I miss you guys so, 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 so much. Mmm. I truly did. Mmm. And I know a whole lot of y'all are saying, what you put that up there in the front box? Because I wanted you to see it. <laughs> you guys, I want you guys to know today when I got out the live, you guys encouraged me so much. And like I said, my friend Carl and David came and they've been talking to me and encouraging me and just true love and encouragement. So I feel better. I really, really do. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I've been 100% better. And I want to say thank you to all of you guys for all of your love, your condolences, your care, or reaching out for me. I love each and every one of you guys for that. I truly do. I really, really do. Mmm. 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 Y'all yeah, gonna say something. I don't care what nobody say. There ain't nothing in the world that can make you feel good or make you feel better. There is some good soul food that was cooked from the heart. And ain't nothing better. Mmm. 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 Y'all, this food is hot. It is hot. Mmm. 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 Mmm, but it's good. It's so good. All right, y'all, give me a piece of this pig snout. I'm gonna give me a piece of the pig snout. I know you jealous. I know you. <laughs> hey! Let's dip it over here in some of this lips hot sauce over here, y'all. Mmm. -hmm. There's our first bite of the pig snout. There it go, there it go, there it go. Mmm. Mm -mm. Y'all, this is good. If you have never tried, because of the way it looks, or just because the thought of it, that's a pig snout, and if you never try it, baby, you don't know what you're missing. You really don't. This pig snout is divine. It really is. Let me tell y'all something, because a lot of y'all ask me this a lot in the comments about does hubby and little lips eat all the stuff that I eat. <laughs> um, I would tell you this, just about everything that I eat, hubby does eat. But if I was to say it on the pork side, anything that I ate that he just really just didn't care for, it would be this pig snout. He does eat it, but that's not one of his favorite things. It's just not. So I'm normally solo dolo on them. I'm going to give y'all another bite of it. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's good. It's so good. Mmm. Mm mm mm. Mmm. You guys, we're gonna have a meal. I'm not gonna tell you, I can't tell you when, because I don't know. Yeah, that's a turn of meat there. I don't know. But like I told you guys in the live, mmm. Ah, 
My auntie did pass. In my family, she was the cook of her generation. You know, my mom, um, her sisters and brothers and stuff. She was the cook of that generation. And she taught me how to cook so many things, you guys. Y'all want to buy the greens? They hot. Mm. She taught me how to cook so many things that I'm going to have a meal mm. that I'm going to cook in her honor. Okay? It's going to be soul food. And I'll let you know where it's going to be. My auntie was a sweet, she was the sweetest lady. She was the sweetest pie. She really was. She was a sweet lady. And, um, I love her so much. So, like my family and friends are telling me, she would not want me to, um, you know, be down and sad. And, um, you know, just have a pause in my life. She wouldn't want that because she loved me. Mm. So, I'm doing my very, very best so that God work it out in my heart, in my mind, and in my spirit. I am. But I miss you, Aunt Birdie. I love you so much. Now, back to this good hog, honey. This good pork. Ooh, yeah, that's one of the meatier pieces I've been show you of this pig snout. See, like it has a meat part in there. You see it? Do you see it? That's the meatier part of it. Ooh, that gives it a little, um, you know, the little meat instead of just a lot of um, the fat. What they call it? Gelatinous. Mm -mm -mm. And baby, is it good? Y'all, this is good. So anyway, how y'all doing today? How are you doing? I'm doing well. The day didn't start off the best. But it's shaping up very nicely. <sighs> you guys out there in the garden, like the jalapenos, as you can see, because uh, all these jalapenos that you see are ones that came out of the garden. They're up and growing beautifully. And you guys, I have squash and zucchini on the vine. Um, the cucumbers are about, they're flowering now, so they're going to start making very, very soon. Um, the eggplant is getting big. Um, the okra I hadn't quite got there yet. I'm starting to wonder what's up with it. But anywho, uh, the garden is looking pretty, well, it's producing well. It's got some grass in it right now. I cannot tell you a lie. <laughs> Y'all got some grass in it right now. Because I, you know, like I told you, I haven't been feeling very well or up to myself. So, it's kind of grassed up a little bit. But anywho, it is turning out very, very nicely. And I told you I would let you know when we had the first harvest that we was eating out of it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Y'all, this is good. This is good. It is. It is good. Mm. I'm sure that my eyes were a lot bigger than my stomach because with everything that's been going on, I haven't really been eating that much. So I didn't know if I eat all the time. I don't know. Mmm. <clears throat> But, you guys, today, um, particularly because it's what I'm going through in my own life, I'm going to tell you guys something. Our conversation today is going to be about accepting whom you are or whom I am. You guys, I found out that a lot of anguish that I carry within myself Is because I don't forgive myself 
for mistakes that I've made in the past. And because I don't forgive myself, I don't trust that others have forgiven me. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. But with God's help, He always put the right people in the right place at the right time to help you with that. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you got if you're harboring feelings, if you're harboring hurt, pain, letdowns, turmoil, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You guys, if you're harboring those type of things, or people, or things that have happened in your life, you guys, let's work on it together. Let's work on it together. Let's uplift each other. Let's tell each other it's okay. Let's make sure that each of us know. You know, my legion. That's what we thought we pray for each other. So you guys, today, I'm going to be inserting and putting myself on our prayer list. Okay? Um, because I need prayer. I need prayer. Like I said, I'm not dealing with um, my auntie's death. Just the greatest. And having to deal with that puts me back in a place. You know, like when my mom passed. Mm. So I'm asking you. You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> so, you, <laughs> so you guys, I'm asking you for prayer. You know, help me. Um, you know, continue to uplift me, you know, and help me get through this particular time in my life. Mm. As you can see, I'm almost there. I'm almost back to myself. Mm. And I appreciate you guys for it. I really do. I truly, truly do. Mmm. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you this. This good hot sauce. It's got my mouth on fire. Yes, it does. That hot sauce is hot. I love it though. Mmm. I absolutely love it. Mm. Oh, it's good. So, I guess, like I tell you guys all the time, when I tell you to look in the mirror and ask yourself how you treat yourself. Because, you guys, if you can't forgive yourself, if you can't forgive you, There's not much hope for you to seek redemption in some way. If you can't forgive yourself, how can you ask God to help you be forgiven? You know what I mean? I think sometimes we pray and pray and pray because we know that God is the answer. We know that. But I feel like sometimes, y'all, we pray and pray and pray and we pray to God and we ask him for things that we ourselves don't help ourselves with. If that makes sense. If that makes sense. Um, I just feel like when you look in the mirror, you see you. You see you. That's why I always tell you guys, don't just ask yourself on the couch. Go to the mirror and look in the mirror. 
and ask yourself, how have I treated myself today? How have I treated myself this week? How have I treated myself this month? That's so important because when you look in the mirror, all you see is you. That's it. And I know that as a person, if I wrong someone, I, I have a hard time forgiving myself. And they may tell me, oh, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you. But I, myself, don't forgive myself. That is a flaw that I have in my character. But I have to own up to that. I have to look in that mirror and ask myself, have you forgiven you? Can you ask God to help someone else to forgive you if you haven't forgiven yourself? Deep, huh? Deep. Woo! Excuse me, y'all. Now I got something to tell y'all. Mm. You guys, one of us, one of us Legion members, and I'll do this again and put it in the front of the video. Okay? But I know my diehard Legion. Legion. The ones who are going to actually do something. You guys, I know you're still here, okay? So this is what I want to do. You guys, we have a Legion member named Lottie Boss. Let me show you a card. Let it zoom in. Lottie Boss, let me tell you what it says. It says, Boss Blings and Things. I'm going to put her website address in the description box. And this is what she, y'all, she makes these things. See the little bracelets with the little, oh, they're so cute, you guys. I don't know if I have it on my arm well enough for it to be attractive for you. But she sent me a brown one and then a silver one. More so black. They're both black. And they're very, very nice. They're very, very nice. Shout out to you, Lottie Boss. So our car says Lottie Boss, independent consultant, paparazzi jewelry. Boss, blinks, and things. Okay? So you guys, make sure that you go and visit Lottie Boss at her website. I will make sure that I put it in the description box for you. You guys, she has a lot of little trinkets and things. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. And they look homemade. Like, they're homemade. You know, like, she takes her own hands and makes them. You guys, we always want to support our Legion. And I want you guys to run over there and let her know. Just go over there and check out. Check her, check, check her stuff out. She may find many things over there that you like, okay? Shout out to you, Lottie Boss. I love you, baby. Okay? Now, let's get to eat. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all knew I was hungry. And I'm going to tell you, I ain't going to eat all this. Mmm. But I ain't full. You heard me? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 Y'all, I'm hungry. Well, I was hungry. Because I'm eating that. Mmm. 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 Y'all know pork is my go-to. It is. Like, anytime that I need to record like multiple videos a day, pork is going to be one of the videos because I can eat it anytime. I can. Excuse me. I know y'all saw that. I can eat pork at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, honey. For real. It's my go-to. Mmm. Mmm. It don't matter how full I think I am. Let me give me some pork ready. I can eat. I can. I love me some pork. I really, really do. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. You guys, in my own struggles that I'm having in my life right now, like I said, with my aunt's death and thing, and just coming to the conclusion, like I said, that I'm not a very good person to forgive myself. And uh, so I had to share that with you all. Because there may be a lot of you guys out there that are trapped the same way I am. You're trapped in you. You know? I want us to work together to release each other. You know what I mean? It's okay. It really is. It's okay, you guys. It's okay. 
Okay. And that's what I have to tell me. It's okay. It was okay. So I thought I would share that with y'all. I would share that with you. Um, because someone needed to hear it. Someone needed to know that it's okay to forgive yourself. It's okay. That's the first step. And like I said, a lot of times, and just like this, we go to God and we ask God, God, please allow John Jim and uh, John Sue to forgive me because I really am sorry. You know, I really am sorry for what I've done. But you didn't forgive yourself. You didn't forgive you. You know? And you know that you didn't. Because it seems like, or you know, you're praying the same prayer over and over again. Over and over again. That's because you had forgiven you. You got to forgive yourself. You got to. Okay. Okay. Mm. And when all this fails, cook you some pigs now. <laughs> when all this fails, cook yourself your favorite meal. And sit down. If you have to put a mirror in front of you while you eat. And say, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive lips. What you got to do, that's the first step. <coughs> Excuse me. Because <clears throat> ain't no need to worry God with that. If you ain't forgive yourself. You know? I ain't no need to bother him with that. Mm. Y'all. Let me tell you something. I'm getting full now. I am. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have enjoyed what I truly, truly do. This was magnificent for me. I love me support. I truly, truly do. And when I got to cooking, I asked hubby, I said, we don't eat that pork no more. I asked hubby, I said, do you want me to throw you a couple of years in there for you? He said, nope. I'm good. <laughs> Because he he doesn't, I mean, he eats pork, but he doesn't eat pork quite frequently as I do. My husband is more of a um, seafood, you know, shrimp, scallops, um, you know, more adventurous things than me. I'm old country boy, honey. You mean some pork and some greens? I'm good. Uh, hmm. So anyway, like I said, you guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I truly, truly do. As you can see, I'm doing my very, very best to snap out of it and forgive myself. Okay, because a lot of times when people pass, there's things that you wish that you could have done, should have done, and were very capable of that you didn't do, and then they mess around and pass, and then here you go feeling bad about it but you've got to forgive you and know that during them times you did the best that you could do okay check this out like i said i hope you guys have enjoyed and we've been getting up out of here i love you guys so so much so my new legion thank you so much for being here you could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world but you chose to be here with us and we love you for it to all my existing legion, to all my existing legion, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Don't forget to pray for yourself. Forgive yourself, okay? Before you go to asking God every day to do it for you, forgive yourself, okay? I love you guys so, so much. We finna get up out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember, there's always more than one way home. All you said to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. Oh, baby. I'm done. I ain't got but a little bit of this left. But I didn't eat so much of the greens today. But baby, I, oh, I smashed this pork.
smashed it. The pork, the ears. Mmm, so good. Mmm. The greens. I thought it was collard and mustard. They're not. They're mustard and turnip greens. I know. There's no collard in there. I thought I seen collard. <laughs> no, it's a lie. I mean. But anywho, Legion. Legion. Uh, I got it. Huh? You made it. I mean, <laughs> Legion, I love you guys so, so much. I truly, truly do. And like I said, you guys, I find myself in places and things that I have done in my life that sometimes hurt other people. And when it happens, I have a hard time forgiving myself. I really do. And um, so if you're trapped there, let's help each other. Okay? Let's help each other. Because if you don't forgive yourself, you can't ask for anyone else to either. You have to forgive yourself and know that what you've done at any time was a mistake. And in my case, it could have just been something, in, in, in a lot of cases, it could have been something very, very simple as when people call you, you don't answer the phone. Um, maybe you weren't fitting that right just then. You know? Anything could have been going on. Whatever it was, forgive yourself, okay? I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you next time, all right? Bye-bye. Share.